What's up everyone, this is Ali Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 plus cool features in iOS 12 that Apple has changed. Let's get started. Okay, so Apple has brought many new changes during the keynote that they mentioned, but there are a few they never talked about, so I'm going to be going and switching between those two in this video. So, the first feature I really want to talk about is this new measurement app. What's really cool is it uses the new AR kit, and it helps you measure stuff using the camera. And it's actually very accurate, which I think is very impressive. Also, Apple updated the stocks application, they added new graphs and charts, and new panels for different information to be seen. They also added a new category for news and stuff. And what's really cool is there's a cryptocurrency app that's just like this called HODL. The only difference is HODL replicated the old stocks application. So I hope HODL can replicate the new stocks application. Apple also changed the logo on the FaceTime. They made it slightly more round. Another update that iOS 12 brings to the iPhone is a new voice memos application. So you can see that the corners are slightly rounded on the record button with a black bar. It looks really cool. I like the new design. And certainly a welcome change. Now something that I think iOS 12 is definitely hinting at is a new night mode and you can definitely see this through the music player on the lock screen. So I think this is very interesting. I don't think it's a feature, it's more of a glitch, but who knows. Another cool feature is called screen time. You can find this in settings and what you can do is you can set a certain amount of time you want to be on an application during the day and it won't let you use the application longer than that time you set. So if you use Instagram too much you can set a time limit on that and it'll eventually lock up so you can't use it. So that way you can be more productive throughout the day and not waste it all on a specific app. You can also scan a QR code using force touch on the camera app. Another way you can access this is through settings. You can go ahead and tap on the control center settings. And then from here, you can go ahead and customize the controls. And then from here, tap on the category to scan a QR code and you will see that pops up in the new control center. Another welcome change is while editing photos, Apple added a new color panel that you can tap on and choose new colors before you only had i think four colors to choose from now you have pretty much any color to choose from which is very nice and a welcome change also apple made the clear notifications button slightly larger not really sure why they did this also if you do own an ipad and update to ios 12 you will notice the time has been shifted to the side and it will look more like an iphone 10 layout which is hinting at an iphone 10 like ipad with the notch which is going to be interesting to see Anyways, that's about it for today. These are just 10 plus features that are on iOS 12. This is just a quick overview. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. I'm going to be having an in-depth review on certain specific features coming up very soon within the next few days. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.